So we will be continuing with our stack and queue playlist today for starting off. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is balanced parenthesis. So what is the problem statement? It is stating that you will be given a string and it will only be containing characters like the brackets. Now these are the possible brackets that it might contain. Now your task is to check if the given string is a balanced parenthesis string or not. Now what are the conditions it should follow to be called a balanced parenthesis string? First one is every opening bracket should have a same closing bracket. Got it? Every closing bracket should have a same opening bracket. The other examples will be this and this one. Got it? And the third one is it should follow the order as well. Let's understand the three conditions. So if I look at this particular example, let's check if this is balanced or not. Now first I am I'm seeing an opening bracket and after that I am seeing a closing bracket. So they are following the order and they are of the same type. So opening and then closing. Perfect. After that, there is an opening. After that, there is an opening. After that, there is a closing. So for this closing, for this closing, I have a corresponding opening right before it. So they are following the order as well and they are of the same type as well. Perfect. After this, I have this one and then there is a closing. So for this closing, I have a corresponding opening. So they are following the order. Got it? So they have followed the order and they have also followed the order. Now I have a closing. For this, I have an opening as well. So they are also following the order. So every bracket has a similar kind of bracket that is closing itself and they are following the order as well. So this can be called as a balanced parenthesis. Got it? Whereas if I look at this particular example, this is an opening, this is a closing. So they are following the order. Perfect. This is an opening, this is an opening, this is a closing. So they are following the order. After that, this is an opening, but this is a closing. And this is not following the order. They are not following the order. Thereby, this is not a balanced parenthesis. Let's look at other examples. So if I take an example like this, now this is also not a balanced parenthesis. Why? Now they are following the order. For this opening, there is a closing. But for this opening, there is no closing. Thereby, I said for every opening, there must be a closing and vice versa. If I take a string like this, this is also not balanced because for every closing, there is not an opening. Got it? And this describes the order. So these are the three conditions that you have to keep in mind before calling someone as a balanced parenthesis. Now, if you carefully look what do we need to solve? Now, there are two things. Whenever I'm getting a closing bracket, I'm checking out if the last opening that I saw, the last opening that I saw is of my type. Is of my type. That's what I'm checking, right? So, what am I looking for? I'm looking for last opening encountered. That's it. Whenever I encounter a closing bracket, I look for the last opening that I encountered. Correct? Okay. So, it kind of gives me an idea. I'm looking for the last opening encountered. So, I just need to preserve the opening brackets. That is the first thing that should come to my mind that I will be preserving all the opening brackets. And the other thing is, I should be able to see the last one. So, which data structure? Yes. Stack because that is going to tell me the last one because it follows a last in first out mechanism. If you keep something in the data structure and you want to check out which one was the last thing that you kept, that's where stack comes in. Got it? So what I will be doing is I'll be doing a dry run using the stack data structure. So let's take the stack data structure. So this is my stack data structure. And I'm at the opening bracket. We need to preserve the openings. So I'll just preserve this opening. After this, I'll go to the next one. Now this is a closing bracket. Whenever you get a closing bracket, you take out the top element from the stack. You take out the top element from the stack and you compare with the current closing. Are they of the similar types? 
you say yes and you're fine you can move ahead again you get an opening you have to preserve them so you preserve it in your stack you preserve it in your stack after that you get another opening again you preserve it in your stack after that you again get a closing at this time when you're getting a closing what you will do is you will head over and get the last opening that you had and you see that they are matching fine after that you get again an opening so you take it after that you get a closing so you take that closing and you head over to the stack you take out from it and you see that they are matching and if they are matching it's fine after that you get to the last one that's a closing bracket and if it is a closing one again you go to the stack and you see hey stack what is the last one he says this one oh you're matching perfect and after that the iteration is over and you see that the stack is empty what does it mean for every opening for every opening that i preserved i got a corresponding closing so thereby i can say that this particular string is a balanced string got it perfect now what i will do is i'll now do the same iteration over the second string to understand how do we figure out that it is unbalanced again we can start from here maybe i can i can take a stack so that we understand it in a much better way perfect i've taken a stack first one is an opening one so i preserve it after that i go to the next one now this is a closing bracket so whenever it's a closing bracket i get the top of the stack i get the top of the stack and i see that they are matching i see that they are matching so it's fine again i go to this one it's an opening so i'll take it off after that again it's an opening so i'll take it off this time it's a closing whenever it's a closing i go back to the stack and i take out the closing and i match and it's a match again it's a, it's a opening so i take it off next time it's a closing so you go to the stack and say which is the last scene so it gives you this one and you say it's a mismatch and if it is a mismatch you're done and dusted yes you're done and dusted so it's very important to preserve the opening one to figure out which was the last one because every opening should have a corresponding closing and in the same order and in the same order that is very very important understood now some other cases if you want to do a super quick dry run some other cases would be let's say you take a string which is opening opening and closing and then i take a stack first one i have a opening so you can put that in then i again have a opening so you can put that in then again i have a closing so for this closing you'll get this one which is typically matching and after that the iteration is over but the stack still has an opening bracket which means every opening did not get a closing got it same might happen for something like this where you're just closing in that scenario whenever you have a stack and you encounter a closing bracket the stack will be empty that means you don't have a corresponding opening for the closing so this is also unbalanced got it so time to write down the pseudo code again super simple we're going to write the function which is going to return a boolean stating true or false if it is balanced or unbalanced respectively so i'll be getting a string first thing we need a stack so maybe i'll be defining a stack so we stack s again depending on the programming language you're using you can define the stack 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 will be storing characters so maybe i can iterate over the string so assuming the string's length is n we can iterate till n minus 1 at index we know one thing if it is an opening bracket and the opening bracket will only be s of i equal to equal to this or s of i equal to equal to this or s of i equal to equal to this so that's the case you ask the stack hey stack can you store this one and the stack is going to store it perfect now the logic comes up whenever it's a closing bracket if it's a closing bracket and at any moment the stack is empty that means it doesn't have a corresponding it doesn't have a corresponding opening bracket for itself so you can just break out and return false otherwise 
what we will be doing is inside the else will be like okay the stack has something maybe i can just get out that element we can say character ch equal to st dot top so you get the top and then you can pop it out because this will be required for comparison we know one thing it has to meet three conditions if s of i is equal to equal to the my bad it's a closing one so if this is a closing one then the character that i got from the stack has to be the corresponding opening one has to be the corresponding opening one perfect so either this condition should be met or or i should be like s of i is equal to equal to if it is this particular closing then the character should be this particular opening or or for the third bracket if it is not matching if it is not matching in that scenario you go to the this particular if else and you return a false if this particular if is matching well and good otherwise you return a false and the for loop ends and at the end of the day you say return stack dot empty if the stack is empty that means everything is matched but the stack still has some opening brackets that means it didn't find it corresponding closing brackets that's it that will be it if i have to discuss the time complexity what will that be i'm just iterating over so that's a big o of n and what about the space complexity i'm using a stack data structure at the worst case if everything is an opening bracket i'm going to store everything out i'm going to store everything out so this will be the time complexity and the space complexity can we make it better no because we'll have to match uh, for every corresponding opening there should be a corresponding closing so we need to store it somewhere to have a match got it so the space complexity cannot be improved so this will wait for this one so if you're still now watching and if you've understood everything please please do consider giving us a like and if you're new to our channel do consider subscribing to us as well with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some other video till then bye take care